Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glam Polish Imperio in Chic Peak BM XL474. I am using the Elmer's Washable Clear Glue as my base coat for a peel off. I'll be using Brave's Diva Game Over. It's a one coater black. And I'll also be using the Glam Polish Imperio. Oh my goodness, the flakies abound. So here we go. We're going to go in with our first coat and only coat of this gorgeous one coater. I love, love, love this polish. I have a couple of beautiful black creams that are one coaters, and this is one of them. I try to rotate them out so they all get a little bit of showtime. Game Over is an excellent polish, though. You can also stamp with it which is another bonus. I've made a tiny bit of mess, so Woody is going to make an appearance. There we go. Hi, Woody. And right here, I'm just smearing it. <laughs> I'm going to break out my cleanup brush real quick and tidy that up because it's just going to wear me out if I don't. Not perfect, but better. And now for a coat of Imperio. This is covered in flakies, and it's multi-chrome. It's blue, it's green, it's purple. It's gorgeous. I mean, fantastic. Look at that. It's like sea glass on the nails or something. It's so pretty. Hi, Woody, back again. Some busyness. I'm going to top it with a Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat real quick. So I just needed to one coat of black and one coat of Imperio. So one coat of Game Over and then one coat of Imperio. And we're good to go. Capping that free edge. And hi Woody. <laughs> there we go. Today I'll be using the Chic Peak BM XL 474 and Maniology. This one is called Coconut. Ah, stupid camera. And I'll be using my Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper. I do have my Burt's Bees on today. So I'm just going to pick some images and get to playing. This is a crazy plate. It's, you know, got all those, like, geometric designs. And you got squares and circles and lines. I just figured it would be fun. Really like that image. And I'm cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller. And that plate's getting cleaned with some pure acetone. Now let's pick another image. That one's pretty good, y'all. Yeah. So there we go. Nice pickup, beautiful. Excellent transfer. No problems with this one. I always like it when it's easy. Like I said, I'm just playing, so I'm using different images. And so all the nails will be different, but they'll still work together. Loving it. And I love that it's not stark white. That coconut color is an off-white, and I really like having that in my collection. Sometimes you're not wanting that stark white. You're just wanting something that'll bounce off those dark colors. Love that image with the big open space. Very fun. Let's see, one more. Okay, I'm a little out of frame. I apologize. <laughs> there we go. This little one for my pinky. Got a little bit of a mess going on here. I didn't scrape very well. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and try to salvage it. There we go. We got them all stamped up. Yay. So I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and do just the tiniest little bit of cleanup here. We get up under that little short nail because when I stamp with short nails, it gets all up under there. And I will be topping this one with my posh top coat today. Seal it in so that, that stamping stays put. And I'm not using the smudge free. Um, the only one I have right now that's a true smudge free is one I don't like from Nicole Diary. 
and I didn't want this to come up in a day or two so I'm just using a regular top coat and being very careful so there it is in motion you can see all those colors flashing blue green purple so leave me a comment let me know what you think I want to thank you for watching and until next time be good to yourself